out here with Coach Hendricks after the first day of full pad practice. Coach, I heard it said a while back by somebody else that the first day of pads is when you begin to separate the prospects from the suspects. Do, do you subscribe to that theory? Yeah, you know, I, I tell you, there's not a lot of difference between the shell aspect when you got upper zone and they've taken so many low blocks out of the game that uh, it's certainly not nearly as big a part of the game. But, uh, but you now we tackled today. You know, you only really get seven days in August that you truly get to tackle to the ground. And even though we have a lot of contact, you know, that offensive lineman doesn't think much difference because uh, just because he's going to do the same thing regardless. But, uh, but no, it was good. I think the biggest thing it does is real football, you know. And, uh, you know, you can get in seven on seven and one on one drills, but it's not like, you know, 11 on 11 and lots of moving parts, lots of bodies. And, uh, and the only way to do it is to get out there and get in the middle of it. So, you know, we'll go watch the tape this afternoon. I saw some good stuff. I saw some bad stuff, and I'm sure there's a lot of in-between. There's nothing glamorous about, as you referenced it with your team in the huddle right here a minute ago, the dog days of August. There's nothing glamorous about it, is there? Well, it's not, and, you know, August has changed a lot over the years, but it, there's just no easy way to get where we want to be. And, uh, you know, we want to have a great team, and uh, there's no easy way. And all we can control is today, and, you know, as they say, I guess yesterday's history, and, you know, tomorrow's uncertain, and uh, let's just try to control today. And uh, we'll come back, have a group lift this afternoon. Certainly got some good video to watch. Do, do you find that what happens in the – just talking about specifically the confines of, football, of a football team <laughs> flies in the face of – of a lot of society today because you said there's no easy way to be great outside of this there seem to be a lot of easy ways for people to become great or famous but here you have to put in the work well you have to and um, and again it's just there's a lot of things that uh, I think sometimes even I've had people in my profession or people I know about my profession you know they see Saturday and they see you standing over there and oh, it's great. I said, yeah, the part you see is, that's pretty good. You know, it's the, it's the grind behind the scenes and the long hours and that everybody does, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I think some people like to tell you how much longer they or how long they work, but you know, it's just how efficient can you be, but there's just no shortcut, you know, to getting where you want to be. And, and again, and, and, the, and the progress comes in such small, small gains that sometimes it's hard to, it, it takes a little while to judge it. You've been part of some great teams and some great programs. What's the common denominator this time of year that leads to a team being great? Well, I mean, it starts you need some talent. I've never been part of a great team that didn't have a lot of talent. Uh, I think we've got really good talent. Uh, I think it's having a team that loves each other and cares for each other, and I think we have that here too. And, and you know, it's holding each other accountable. You know, we have a standard. And uh, I think our whole program is kind of based upon that. And uh, you know, and it's that's easy to do at certain times, and there are certain times it's not quite as easy to do. But I, you know, I like the progress we're making, and again, we're nowhere near ready to to kick it off September first, but we'll get there. Final thing, you you talked to him at the end uh, about perspective, and it'd be very easy, I would imagine, on these hot days when you're working to to get kind of caught in that tunnel vision mentality. But you talked to him about perspective today. Well, you know, you, heck, I've been there, you know, as a player, you know, I think there, it always flashes through some mind. Man, if I were somewhere else today, or if I wasn't out here doing this, and then next thing you know, you're not. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, that's when it really hits you, you know. And so, um, you know, guys, I think here for a reason, they've made sacrifice to get to this point with all the stuff they've done since the season ended last year. And they put themselves in a position to, you know, again, go have a great team. And again, that's, that's our only focus. And, uh, but, you know, just be appreciative for what you have. I'm, I'm thankful for the job I have and where I'm at, and uh, I still love coming to practice. Wise words from a wise coach. Thank you, sir. Thank you.